eat it, they'd be like, say what? It's vegan? So yeah. <laughs> Hey guys, it's your girl Chef Joya and welcome back to my channel, Say What is Vegan? If you have not already subscribed, go ahead and click that subscribe button because this is where you're going to find the best vegan recipes around. Now we're getting ready to get into my one pot meals and I'm going to do this pot roast because everybody in their mama been asking me for a pot roast recipe, which I don't understand why because you can find it all over the internet, but I know that you can't find nobody that cooks like me, so I get it. So I guess I'm going to go ahead and give this to you all. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, guys, you want to make sure you get like a Dutch oven or a cast iron skillet that has a beet bottom and you can use whatever type of oil you choose. For this one, I did use avocado oil and you see that I am using frozen jackfruit that I have thawed out. I do find that at the Indian markets, but you can absolutely use the unripened jackfruit that you find in the can in brine. Just make sure you boil it for at least 20 minutes to get some of that brine out of it. Next, I'm going to go ahead and add that to the pan once it's nice and hot and add in my seasonings. And I add in vegan Worcestershire sauce, a little vegan beef bouillon, and some chili powder. Now, I'm making sure it gets a nice little sear on it because you want to change the texture of your jackfruit. Because if not, it can get real funny when you're placing it inside of your pot roast. You know, like the little slimy texture that nobody likes. Yeah, that part. Next, we're going to go ahead and cut up our potatoes. I love using the baby potatoes because it just comes so easy to use. There's not a lot of work to do. And a lot of times they are pre-cleaned, but your girl is going to wash them anyway. Now, after cooking this jackfruit for about 15 minutes, I added my potatoes to the pot. Next, I'm going to go ahead and add in some brown sugar. Next, I add in some onion soup mix because you know that crack pack is where it's at. Now, this right here is one of my favorite ingredients to use, which is a dry ranch packet. And no, not Hidden Valley. Make sure you get one. One that's naturally vegan i go to the store called food lion and they have their off brand which is already vegan i get it for like 50 cents and it adds a lot of flavor the vegetables that i'll be adding to my mix is celery garlic red onion fennel carrots and i'll add in some bell pepper as well and i'll be using a yellow and red just for color green i don't use because it doesn't do anything for the dish personally Next, I'm going to add and add in a lot of ground black pepper, my garlic powder, and my onion powder. And then you want to go in with a little bit of your sea salt, Himalayan salt, whatever kind of salt you want to use. And then you're going to add in more of that chili powder. Now, that chili powder gives it a nice smoky flavor along with some body from the cumin that's naturally in it. You're going to add in some thyme, a little bit more of vegan Worcestershire sauce, and your rosemary. And be sure to continuously stir and get into the bottom of the pan because while we do want that sear and that crust, we do not want any burnt flavors. Next, I'll add in my two bay leaves. Next, I'm going to go ahead and use my tomato paste. Now, you can use the tomato paste in a can or you can use the tomato paste in the tube. You know your girl don't measure. So I used about, honestly, about maybe a tablespoon or so, and I gave it another stir. Now it's time for me to add in my liquids. Now, I'm using some vegetable stock for this one, but you can use some plant-based beef stock. You can use whatever it is, but using the wine is super key and very important. Do your best to not leave this wine out. Even if you do not drink alcohol, the alcohol cooks completely out, so you do not have to worry about about that. While cooking over medium low heat, I allow my jackfruit pot roast to cook for about another 20 to 25 minutes until it's nice and tender and yours should look exactly like this. Make sure you adjust the seasoning to taste by adding more salt and pepper if needed and you want this to be absolutely delicious. Not just look good but taste good and I'll make sure I leave all the ingredients below. And I'm gonna let you know exactly what I think. Mm -hmm. What I think. Mm -hmm. Boom. Can you see that? See that? Ooh. Kind of hot. <laughs> Baby, wait a minute, hold on. Girl. 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 Uh -huh. Girl. Wow, okay. Y'all, this is the bomb. No briny taste because we didn't have the frozen jackfruit. And I already gave you tips on how to get that brine out. But make sure y'all try this recipe and let me know what you think in the comments below once you do. I guarantee you, hands down, you ain't never had a pot roast like this. Now, if you think that pot roast recipe was absolutely delicious, wait until you get into this seafood mac and cheese that we're going to be making with hearts of palm now you know your girl 
is known for her mac and cheese. And I got about 50, 11 mac and cheese recipes on here. But this one's gonna be all in one pot. Super easy to make. And be sure you check out my website, cookingwithjoy.com, where you can find my cookbooks and you can find my Cajun seasoning blend. So let's go ahead and get into this one pot mac and cheese. Let's start off by sauteing our hearts of palm that we rinsed and chopped. And we're adding that into a lot of vegan butter. And next we're gonna season it with my amazing Cajun seasoning. And we're also gonna use a little bit of vegan Worcestershire sauce and some kelp seasoning. And you also wanna use some lemon juice. Now I didn't do that in order, but you heard what I said. Next, we're gonna give that a nice stir. We're gonna cook that for about five minutes. Next, we're gonna bring some oat milk to a boil and add in some vegetable bouillon and our pasta noodles that we're gonna be using. I used cavatappi, then I went ahead and added in my seasonings. I'm using black pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, a little bit of sea salt. Then I'll be adding in my smoked paprika, not regular paprika, but smoke. Next, I'll be adding in my Dijon mustard with a little bit of vegan Worcestershire sauce. And next, I'm gonna give that a nice little stir. Now, I don't show you on camera, but I did add in some hot sauce because, I mean, Worcestershire sauce and hot sauce go together. I'm gonna allow this to cook for about 10 minutes before adding my remaining ingredients. And you wanna make sure you keep an eye on it because it will thicken up real nice and quick. Next, I'll add in my tapioca flour. Now, if you have a whisk, please do this with a whisk, but your girl did it with a spoon because I just do things sometimes, but I had to stir a lot. And if you're at home, please don't do this, okay? Don't do what I just did unless you're a pro at it. Now, at this point, you wanna make sure that your heat is on low before adding in your vegan cheese. And you can use any kind that you like. Now, I did try the new Daya cheese for this. This was my first time using it. And I added in a lot of vegan butter. Now, your girl loves her vegan butter. You can use it as much or as little as you like, but I truly believe that adding a lot of vegan butter makes all of a difference. Then you're gonna add in that good old nutritional yeast and not too much because we do not want any chalky mac and cheese. And you see your girl done pulled out the sriracha? Yes. I went ahead and added some sriracha and some more of my amazing Cajun seasoning and gave it a nice stir. Then we're gonna go ahead and add back in our vegan seafood or our hearts of palm and mix that around. Now, as I said before, I have a million and one mac and cheese recipes and they never fail. So let me know if you're feeling these one pot mac and cheese or do you like the baked mac and cheese or stove top mac and cheese? Let me know which one is your favorite. Now, even serving this up, you wanna make sure you add some color to it. So I topped it with some green onion to give it a nice flair because we eat with our eyes before we touch it with our mouth. And guys, I do have a small favor to ask. Could you let me know in the comments below if these recipes from Chef Joya have changed the game in your household? because it blesses me to give them to you. Super easy to make. It only took about 20 minutes to get this done. So let's go ahead and try it. Now I gotta be honest, this is my first time trying this new cheese, y'all. So look a little sketch. <laughs> but we gonna see what it tastes like, okay? I know my flavor on point though. All right, let's see. Mm-hmm. Okay. Wait a minute, no, no. Oh yeah, I like this. It's super creamy. It has a slight spice from the Cajun seasoning. And you can taste like the hearts of palm to give it like that. It gives it like a nice little texture where it's like a little crunchy, and you have a little soft, and you got your pasta noodles, and everything's just mixed so well together. And this green onion is setting everything off. I cannot wait for you to try these recipes. Drop a comment below. If there's something that I have not made on this channel yet, make sure you go through all those videos that you would like for me to make. I'm Chef Joya, and I'll see you next time on Say What is Vegan. Ciao.